Welcome all you outdoorsmen and women to the sticks. My name's Craig, this is Shad, and today we're building a bow rack. We built it with our hands. You do good work around here. This will take about 45 minutes, uh, maybe an hour if you're not filming filming and messing around and working with this guy. Yeah, I'm not Craig chipping in here. So what do we have to do first? Well, we need some two by fours. And an eight foot tongue and groove. First thing first, cut your two, two by fours, and we angled them off. Right. Well, what we did is we cut a 45 on the bottom to make a V, and then we just cut another 45, and we put the short point to the long point on the last one, screwed it in. Oh yeah, and then you wanna, we cut the tops off, because otherwise you're just gonna have, looks like a two by four, you know, you want it to look a little bit more professional. Yeah, it was like a 22 and a half degree cut. So it's nice and flat there, you can put, you might be able to put something up there. I don't know, what could you fit up there? Maybe your little angle. Maybe put a hook up there. You yeah. could put a, put a hook. Or a screw. Or just like, you don't want Timmy coming around and jumping around, yank it off. We'll put it higher on the wall, Timmy. For Timmy. And then these ones for 25. These ones right here, and that one. Okay. But we scribed it pretty much, so whatever angle you come up with, that should be what it is. Okay, so yeah, you can put something like right here, here. and maybe throw throw your broadheads in there. I don't like that. Then Timmy's gonna get that. Oh yeah, yeah. Keep it away from the kids. So you still got some guts on there. Oh yeah, I told you. Oh, good job. Look at that. You can find all the links and measurements and angles and all that stuff in the description below. And we'll also have a little cheat sheet you can download too. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, we drilled holes on the uh, top horizontal and the bottom horizontal bar. You wanna go all the way through on that top horizontal bar, but Shad went straight down. He forgot that a V comes to a point at some point. So you wanna make sure you go at an angle we had to go back and hit an angle on those holes so that then the arrows can actually go all the way down and come to a point. I don't even know what you're talking about. I got it in there, didn't I? Yeah, we only spent like an hour and a half <laughs> fixing your mistake. Uh, but when you get to the bottom horizontal board, you're gonna want to just drill a little bit, just a drill bit. What do we use? What size is that? The screw or the drill bit? The drill bit. For the and bottom. You, you are so lost right now. Oh, I'm, you're, you're just... I'm oh, talking about the bottom, yeah. Um, however wide you're... You just want to go like a quarter inch deep, if that. However wide, yeah. Just yeah. so that... Just end in it. That one was a half inch. Yep, yeah, we used a half But inch. we kind of had to angle it a little bit. That's what I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to so do it like that. That's what you're talking about. I was, I was lost there for a second. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Put this up here. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> that there you go. Yeah. Probably fit a beer in there too. Your favorite Nintendo 64 game? The opportunities are endless. I'm actually getting really excited about this. Maybe put a picture up here of a bull you may or may not have killed. Maybe. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. And if you want, you can either stain it, which is probably gonna be most uh, doable for people, but you can also burn it. We burnt it, got that little rustic look. Let's go. 
Come on, Chad. One hour later. Probably put it behind the aerials too. Oh. Yeah, you're not tall enough. Hey. Oh Ooh, yeah. You got it. Oh yeah. So this is this isn't just a bow rack, it's a multi-purpose utility storage unit. Unit. And then you need something to hang your bow with. So we chose timber locks. Because Craig forgot his shed. Antler, antler sheds. You know, you, you can do antler sheds, put them on the sides, and uh, Craig's gonna try that out. That can hang your bow. Yeah, we're gonna try it out and see if it'll work, but otherwise timber locks are a good, nice look. If you want to try this out yourself, we got all the stuff in the description below, or you can download our blueprints or you know our little guide for it. Until next time. There you go. <laughs> keep hunting, fishing, and living in the sticks. I forgot which one I was supposed to say. <laughs> no, you got it right. Yeah, dude. I, was, I was, guess how you did. <laughs> I put a band-aid on it. Oops, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. <laughs>